was an article posed by, um, posted by Breeze during the week. The title of this article was Black Men Who Were Sexually Assaulted as Kids and Why Some Didn't Even Know It. Oh, and wow. this is from The Root, which I think is mm-hmm. a great website, by the way, theroot.com. <laughs> we once talked about the idea that, you know, sexual assault among young men is often, like, bragged about. If you're, like, a 14-year-old uh, teenager and you have sex with a 30-year-old woman, that's, like, uh, a point of pride, but if you're a teenage boy, that's uh, exactly what this article is about. It's about uh, celebrities who had sex extremely early with uh, older women, and uh, you know, at the time, you know, people when I guess they started to talk about their experiences, people were like, "Well, you, that was you were sexually assaulted," and they're like, "No, no, no, I just got pussy really early." Like, no, you. You were sexually assaulted. <laughs> like, wow. pussy before it's time is rape. You know, and I don't think that they were they were getting it. And the article is just sort of get, you know going into the idea of um, the 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 way gender and race plays into how we view sexual assault mm-hmm. and sexual predation. Well, I think it's the idea of just you know, the whole. Um, the the myth of how of men's status in the world in the in the yeah. se- sense that a woman's sexuality is more precious than a man's sexuality uh, the right. uh, you, you know the idea of you know with men the more sexual encounters you accumulate you know the more manly you are right. and the exact opposite is true for women whereas you know the right. less people you sleep with the more valuable you are. And um, it's even doubly so in racial minority. We are really quick to call a, a, a black woman a hoe if she, you know, has a baby daddy or, you know, it's like more than two people or something like that. And dudes, we just spread our seed all over the place, and that's, you know, and then we use then we use race as excuse for it. Like, why do you have like ten baby mamas? Because I'm spreading my seed. I'm an African, you know, type bullshit. I think it's horrible. I think it's a horrible du- double standard. I think it does nothing but set the race back. So let's open it up to the panel. What do you say? About, um, young men who were sexually assaulted and don't know about it. And who are some of the examples? Just, so. It was Charlemagne the God, um, right. Chris Brown, and R. Uh, Kelly. They talked Kelly. about Don Lemon too in the uh, in our as well. I have a question uh, related to this. Did anyone's father do like my dad did? Now my dad was born in South Georgia, and he has these real antiquated ideas of what, it, what he used to have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, talking about my dad. You used to have these real antiquated ideas of uh, what it means to <laughs> okay, uh, of what it means to be a man. So my father was the type that was like when I was like fifteen, sixteen. He was like, okay, well we're we're gonna take you to go get some pussy. I could tell you my father did not, but I distinctly remember a time when yeah. my brother sat me down oh. and gave me and and we actually he sat me down because I think he knew something was going on with me. And he pulled out a pile of Playboys and was like, "This is going to make you a man." And so we're <laughs> and so we're flipping through. Uh, keep in mind, he's a, you know he's only four years older than me, so what the fuck you know about it? Mm-hmm. And the most he was like Playboys. He was like, "This is manly." And so he you know he sat me down with a pile and like penthouse and Playboy, and uh, flipping through the pictures. And I distinctly remember going, "What does it have to do?" <laughs> you know, like, Real, like, how, how old were you? Bring? I mean. Uh, I want to say like like eleven or twelve or something. Mm-hmm. Like that. Oh, um, you, you better. Know. And, he was, and so he was like still in high school at that point. Mm-hmm. So I remember, and he was getting completely turned on, like yeah. <laughs> 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 but, um, oh my, do- I guess I was looking at it more, I guess, in terms of like a biology. Like, like no, just like wow, those that she's really smooth. Like I, I want to be right here. <laughs> Basically, uh, you use it as a National Geographic, like a learning experience. Yeah, yeah. I was um, like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know that hair could grow down there. You know, and those of you who have right. siblings, it's their goal to right. um, destroy them. Every time I talk to him, I always say that he's the cause of me being gay, and it makes him worse, feel worse, mm-hmm. and it makes me feel better. Q and A from Big Meech, Demetrius Taylor. Uh, what's up? Uh, my father took me to a strip club when I was 15, or at least mm-hmm. tried to, mm-hmm. but they would not let me in the club for fear of losing their license. Mm-hmm. So I've heard wow. of this phenomenon a lot. I mean, they actually bring it up in a couple of like TV shows and, and cartoons. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's something about it that, I don't know, I don't object to it. 
I don't think I would object to it. And I, I don't know. I just I find it a bit humorous in the sense of I think it's a little I think it's funny. I, I guess I guess I don't see the seriousness of it. And, but I also think it's a good test. Like if you take your boy to a horror house. And if he winds up sitting there and talking about the Real Housewives for the past for two hours, okay, yeah. oh, confirmation. Now you have to worry about it. Now, there's a lot of other factors other than the fact that your son might be gay. He just might be really, really, uh, you know, the, depending on the relationship that the father has with the son, right? He might just be really awkward about, you know, even talking about sex, especially at 15 or whatever, yeah, with, with your, your father. Come on, son, go over there and fuck it. No, right, right. And it's or like, stick your finger in. Because I guess I'm looking at it like if, if you're if you're a shy if you're a shy if you're 15 and you're shy and stuff like that. Right. I'm thinking he's taking you to the whorehouse yeah. in an effort to sort of be in an environment in which y it's private. You mm -hmm. have an opportunity to do say and do things without everybody looking at you, and you can sort of express yourself in a free environment and ease yourself and do it. Because it's not like she's just gonna jump on top of it, but she's gonna like smooth it down and calm everything. Which I guess, and I don't know why, I just romanticize that particular scenario. The bitch ain't a counselor; she's a whore. I think counselor. Oh. I think whores are counselors. Uh, I think uh, whores are counselors. Wow. Absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Bruce. That's true. That's so, so they like, can be counselors too. They yeah, either. it's not yeah. like they gonna sit there and like you know take right. notes and shit. But I do right. think they're like you know tell me you know what's going on. What can I help you with? <laughs> right. Let's, yeah. Let's get and some after, candles lit. Let's you know you let's work this out. And afterwards, you get a sweet release. So. Right. All right. Let's go to yeah. the uh, Q and A again. Uh, Big Meech. Uh, I told that to my father too when we had our powwow that he was responsible for me being gay. I'm just telling you this. If you ever want to get back at your parents, play the guilt shit. Mm -hmm. And tell them, That's true. Tell them like, I'm a big nasty whore and it's your fault. Uh, Jawan, uh, really? <laughs> take a selfie with a toy. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, I think I, I had argued my father one time. I'm like, you know, it's your reason why I'm sucking dick on Santa Monica, and he never forgave me ever since. I remember you telling that story. That was <laughs> he said, "Pop the lips." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my I'm god, really? Horrible. I'm a horrible son. Uh, Juwan Blackman, wow. to answer Cecil's question. Yep, my stepfather, uncles, and grandfather have tried that move and failed. Strip clubs, bringing random women they know into clubs to see me. It was something else, you know. It's a long antiquated idea of like if you if you pal if you pal pussy on your son, uh, the flower of heterosexuality will grow. Uh, but uh, not necessarily true at all. Incidentally, that whole thing about um, you know getting back at your parents by telling them that shit doesn't just work with parents. I will go ahead and, and be a little transparent and say that every mm -hmm. time every time Greg's ex wife pisses him off, which is kind of every time. Not only is she the reason that he's gay, but he's she's also the reason that his son is gay too. We're oh, both gay. Oh, oh, oh. Because, <laughs> Child, I can't you know, The last time it was so funny. The last time he talked to her, he called her the spatula. Because he just flips. <laughs> I mean she just she just, she just flips people. <laughs> wow! It hurts and me. turns them gay. And it's, oh, <laughs> it's like, I'm, not you. Me, I'm laughing in the background. She pissed off. He's laughing on the phone. She pissed off. His son is rolling on the ground up in Virginia, <laughs> standing up to her. I'll be rolling. It's so pissed off. It is so funny. It is so funny. She is so mad. It's great. That's <laughs> okay. horrible. That is yeah. not nice. I she can't tell her son don't nothing. Don't now. Don't care. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. I don't condone that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's hilarious. And you had, to, you had to bring the son into it. Out. <laughs> okay. He's 18. Whatever. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank you for watching our video. Comment, like, and share our content. For more information, visit MailMediaMind.com and click the About section.